Oh, says we're now live. Swipe down to stop, double tap to flip camera. That's right, isn't it? So, okay, can people talk to us? How do we know? Oh, our neighbour's having an argument. <laughs> right, can anyone see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Ellie, my producer. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So, this is Joe Dodds, and this is my first go at Periscope, so I'm a bit scared. I hate doing video at the best of times, never mind live. Um, but I said that I would do um, a video version of my newsletter, and which I try and do every week. Time. Ellie, don't interrupt me. Sorry. My daughter's helping me. She's nine. Little Doddsy, come and say hello. Oh, come around and say hello. Anyway, so um, I do a newsletter on a weekly basis. Um, I'm probably not tall enough. <laughs> there she is. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> So she's going to look and see if there's any questions or comments. Um, so I do a newsletter on a weekly basis and um, I email it out, but I also do a video version. And um, so I'm going to talk about that now and then little Dodsy will tell me if there's any, think, any questions or anything that I need to answer as we go along. So hopefully it'll be all right. So I was saying that I'm sad that the summer holidays was uh, finished. It was really a uh, quick summer. Um, I don't think we had the weather really either, did we? So that didn't help. Um, but uh, obviously everyone's back to school now, um, which will be helpful because we'll get back to normal routines. Uh, we were in Norfolk last weekend at the National Feast of Lanterns of the Camping and Caravanning Club and met my aunt and uncle and my cousin who came down Mommy, and met us there. Um, They're from Scotland. Mommy, oh, she's asking me a question now. Degrees. Oh, does it? Somebody said that. <laughs> okay, hang on. Don't go away. Ah, right, here we go. You're going to have to hold it now, Ellie. Can you hold it? But not put your finger in front of it. Is that better? Should I do that now and confuse everybody? <laughs> so anyway, so we were camping last week and it was raining. Um, uh, very entertaining, good to see the family and uh, to see a comedy vocalist called Brenda Collins who got uh, Dodsey, not little Dodsey, big Dodsey up on stage which was highly amusing for everybody. Um, and I was running a couple of intermediate digital courses last week for Arts Council England which was really interesting and I sort of vowed to them that I'd get onto Periscope uh, this weekend so here I am um, as I said I would. Um, and the courses were basically, they turned up in the morning, they're intermediate, they said what they wanted to learn and then I had to try and make sure they'd learned it by the end of the day. So as you can imagine, very exhausting. So Periscope, I guess if you're watching me live on Periscope, then you'll know what this is all about. Um, but we were watching a laser display from the Royal Opera House on Friday night uh, on Periscope and little Dodsey was really intrigued and wanted to um, know what it was all about and had a good old look, uh, a good old rummage around in my Periscope account to see what she could see. And um, then said she'd help me do this uh, broadcast today, which is why we're doing it. Although now she's holding it, I'm probably going up and down and all that sort of stuff. No, but you're not. Oh no, I'm not apparently, so I'm doing all right. <laughs> Oh, she's doing all right. Um, so I have been putting off doing this, um, but now I'm here. So um, let's just get on with it. As Apparently my... someone topped up your heart. Oh good, somebody topped up my heart. So um, my digital native here is um, very keen for me to be doing this. So I do a weekly newsletter on my website, which is powertolivemore.com. And uh, any links that I talk about on here will be, um, you can see them on my archive newsletters, which you'll be able to find under powertolivemore.com forward slash newsletter archive. Although I haven't set that up until right this minute, so I'll do it as soon as I come off the broadcast. Um, but I've been chewing over what to do. I send a newsletter with quite a lot of information every week and been wondering about how people are using the information when they don't need it right now, but they might have some interesting stuff that they'd like to follow up on uh, later. So um, either, people need to be writing it down and referring back to it, looking on my newsletter archive, or I'm wondering about whether to put together a membership site where all the information's available so people can get to it very easily. So I've just asked for people on the list to click through and give me some views as to whether if this information was very easy to search and held in one place with some videos and to-dos and things like that as well, whether it would be something that would be interesting to people. So if you're interested in uh, giving some feedback on that, I guess for my existing subscribers, probably not for people who are just watching me today for the first time, um, then if you go to the newsletter archive, you'll be able to click through after the newsletter I sent yesterday. So, um, a little website I came across last week, which I th last week, which I thought was really interesting for those of you with animals is one called pawsquad.co.uk. So, um, Paw, P A W, and then squad, S Q U A D, dot co dot uk. And it's a website where you can get advice online through video calling with qualified vets for 15, I think it's 15 minutes and it's 15 pounds or something like that. Um, but it looked really handy if you wanted some quick advice and might save you a trek to the actual vets um, and, and hence uh, save you some time. So check that out if you uh, have an ill pet at any stage. And then something else I came across What's last week. What's in the week. shed they want to know? What's in the shed? <laughs> 
um, a lot of uh, little Dodsy's rubbish, if I remember rightly, um, which needs sorting out. That's one of uh, her projects for the summer. <laughs> Didn't happen, did it? Maybe we'll do a shed uh, one next time, Ellie. You can you can show them around your shed. So another um, link that I came across this week on Facebook was PayPal.me. So it's uh, somewhere where you can register if you have a PayPal account, which Could will enable like people that. to um, send money to you. So if somebody owes you money, I mean, you can't just set it up and <laughs> hope people pay money to you, obviously. But if somebody owes you money and you're having a conversation, they say that they want to send you the money and they're looking for your bank details or whatever. If you have a PayPal account and then you set um, up with PayPal.me, PayPal.me, then you can just give them that link. So as an uh, example, if you look at um, PayPal.me forward slash CPM, that's the one that I've got set up for my business PayPal account um, and that's what it looks like. So you could set paypal.me forward slash and then your name if it's available, which gives you a very easy link to give to people if they need to pay you some money. Ellie, you were trying to interrupt. Um, Any questions? I just got something that said, could we see the rest of the garden, please? <laughs> do you want to do that first? Go on then, you hop down and show them the garden, give them a little, a little view. You're helping me. Don't fall over. Okay. Um, it's not a very nice garden. The it shed, needs oh, show them your the garden. flower garden. Oh yeah, my flower garden. This is a behind the shed garden. <laughs> That's nicer than the in front of the shed garden. <laughs> so my pumpkins are there. Don't, don't make them feel sick. Do it so they can see properly. Look at the picture as you do it. That's it. And what's that? This is my sunflower. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, well, we've grown pumpkins, tomatoes, and lettuces and radishes, but not other fruits. There's a sunflower there. So I was trying to show you without falling down the garden. And then there are some pumpkins in there. <laughs> so, cool. that's behind the shed. You can show them the shed as you go by. This is the shed. Thank you. <laughs> and then you can show them where the sea is. So, if you look here. If you look there, that's the, the channel, that's the English the channel. channel. <laughs> um, washing line. Washing line. <laughs> and then my trampoline and another shed. Okay, right. Okay, back, back to this. <laughs> Do you have my... Yes, I have your notes. <laughs> oh, my cat. What's his name? Hesky. We've got another one, Owen. <laughs> People will tell us which football team Daddy supports now then. OK, so just moving on to um, habits. I was listening to a podcast this week called The Productivity Show by Asian Efficiency, and it was all about rituals and habits. Um, and a key point that I picked up was it said that to try and ensure that you stick to your habits, you need to be really clear about why you're doing things in the first place and to try and keep that somewhere so that if the habits are slipping, you can go back to the why. And I found that really interesting because I end up with daily tasks on my to-do list and they get longer and longer. I get more and more that I want to do every day and I need to sort of prune that list sometimes. And actually, if um, I go back to why I put that on the list in the first place, it helps me to do that. So I thought that was quite an interesting reframe, um, which might help you too. Uh, this week's blog, blog post, I actually didn't get much chance to do anything uh, on my website this week um, with my other uh, business responsibilities. And then yesterday, um, when I could have done the blog post, I decided to go into town with Dodsy and Little Dodsy and have a cuppa and a slice of cake. So I was living more uh, yesterday. Um, so um, what I've done is put a link to a previous post, um, which sorry, I was... a totally different question. Hang on, don't interrupt you... me. Wait till the end of a sentence. Oh, children, eh? Um, so I did a blog post about how to read and share useful content content online which I shared with the people I was training this week and they found it really useful so I thought you might be interested in that I put a link in to that yes someone just asked are we having a Sunday dinner today uh we're what, what's happening today um it's my granddad's birthday today so we're going up to my cousins because my granddad lives and granny live next door but they've already gone out to my cousins and my auntie and uncle are going to be up there and um we're going to celebrate his birthday there you go. So I think it is a roast dinner, isn't it? Yeah. So the last thing that was on my newsletter, which um, Dodsy watched last night and thought was really good, um, was that I was listening to a radio um, TED hour, TED radio hour even, which is on mm -hmm. um, a podcast. And it was the one that was called Everything is Connected. So if you search on podcasting for TED radio hour, and they were talking about the concept of rewilding. So nothing to do with productivity, organisation or wellbeing. Um, <laughs> but they basically introduced... <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? He's stepping on my oh, because the cat's on your foot. They introduced wolves into the Yosemite National Park oh. in the um, the states, and as a result, uh, many other animals sort of were regenerated, if you like, um, 
and the course of the rivers were even changed because of the way that the deer had originally taken over the park and then when the wolves came the deers the deer had to do something different and then because of that they had areas of vegetation that grew up again and as a result of that the rivers changed course and all that sort of thing and it was just really really interesting um Dodsey was listening to the video that i put a link to called how wolves change rivers on youtube um, this morning and apparently the other cat was quite scared of the wolf howling that was on the video <laughs> but anyway that was the newsletter for this week <laughs> a bit of a random video this time with bits and pieces going on um, I, I, my PS was should I be wor worried that little Dodsey was writing a Christmas list yesterday actually I was more worried when she said I think this will all be about a million pounds mummy is that okay and I think she was serious as well but there we go so any other questions or anything Ellie um I don't know okay it's actually a tough question but you only have six people watching oh, okay cool well we're gonna go now then Hang and on. um we both need to say bye uh, uh yeah so we can turn around to you can't we well I'll turn it I'll hold it so I'll say goodbye and I'll say well at least we've done our first periscope you, it says I'll turn down it to tap you. down tap Anyway. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, camera woman. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. You didn't say.